Railway acts and laws have played an important role in making Indian railways the main transport of the nation. According to the development of the railways and public facilities, changes have been made in them continuously. On 1st August 1849, the British Parliament prepared the framework of Guaranteed Contract Railway for rail expansion in India. The guarantee system was finalized on 17th August 1849 and private companies were included in the railways. Under the Guarantee Act from 1854 to 1899, British companies and states railway companies emerged all over India. In view of the growing rail network, the Indian Railways Act 1890 came into existence and in 1920 the first railway budget was presented. In 1944, the process of nationalization of the entire railway system started by cancelling the contracts of private companies. In independent India from 1951 to 1953, the entire railway system was nationalized and given the name Indian Railways. Thereafter, Indian Railways came under the Union Ministry of Railways. In 1989, the new Indian Railways Act was passed, drafting laws related to the Indian rail transport industry, rail infrastructure and operations, in which rules like land acquisition, compensation, accident compensation, railway property and railway protection force etc. are included. The dedicated freight corridor project was announced in the railway budget of 2005-06 and the dedicated freight corridor corporation of India Limited was established under the Companies Act 1956 which is preparing freight transport dedicated rail route between four important metropolis of the country. After changing the 97 year old custom for the first time in the year 2017, the then finance minister started a new tradition by presenting the railway budget in parliament along with the general budget, moving on the path of progress with changes. Indian Railways